All right, guys. So uh, I did my summoning stream for uh, Kafla. I, I think it is supposed to be Kafla, so I'm going to refer to her as Kafla. Um, I did my stream for her. Uh, I actually got very lucky thanks to the free stones uh, given out on JP Dokkan this morning. And believe it or not, I actually did pull five copies of her. So I can get her to 100% in the dupe system. Uh, I am nowhere near the amount of orbs required for this. So I'm probably uh, going to do it slowly over time because I do still want to put orbs in my Vegito Blue, my Super Saiyan Gotenks, and also my Super Vegito. Quickly, I'm going to go over uh, Kafla here and then uh, we'll kind of discuss some things. Now, real quick, uh, in terms of her abilities, right? You know what? We'll go over her abilities once we go th more through her card. So this is Bonds of Union Warriors, Super Saiyan Kafla. Her leader skill is the Patara category, key plus two, and HP attack and defense 120%. Now, the Patara category is essentially any character that is wearing the Patara earrings that would eventually use them to fuse. So like Zamasu... Goku Black, Rose Goku Black, LR Goku Black, and Zamasu, they're all on the category, but a unit such as the Grand uh, Supreme Kai, uh, you know, Gohan wearing the earrings, they are not in this category. Now, it is kind of a bare bones category, but, uh, you know, we'll kind of see. Now, her super attack does immense damage to enemy and greatly lowers defense, I believe. Now, one thing is, I'm actually not sure still if this is her or the enemy that she's doing it to. I'm not completely sure, because I know she's kind of a combination of Kale and Khalifa, and Kale does lower her own defense. I mean, as the time goes by, I could probably, like, uh, really get this for sure from other people, but I believe she lowers defense. Now, her passive skill is the Trump card of Universe 6. She changes Intelligence Key Spheres to Physical Key Spheres, and she gets attack and defense 10% up per physical key sphere obtained. She has a medium chance to evade enemy attacks. She is guaranteed to get an additional attack and a medium chance that that additional attack becomes a super attack. So now I can discuss the abilities I chose to go for her. Now I've not had enough physical orbs to fill in the entire bottom right path. So my, uh, Kafla's stats are still a little on the lower end. Remember, she is not a Transcendent Ultra Rare unit. But I did decide. I noticed that she dodges a lot. That medium chance, she's dodging quite often. So I decided giving her three dodge would not be that big of an issue. Um, and I'm going to give her, when it's all said and done, I believe uh, she'll have eight additional, 15 crit, and three dodge is what I will be doing. Um, now, I believe the way the additionals work is you can only get a maximum of one additional from the dupe system. I believe when it first dropped, you were able to get, uh, you know, an additional triggering from the uh, dupe system for every single attack you would do. So, like, Vegito Blue could attack six times, for example. Now, I believe they only cap you to one additional attack. So, I believe you do still have a chance for it to trigger on each of the attacks, but it'll only trigger once. So, I do feel as though 8 additional will be sufficient for Kafla, and the extra dodge may help every once in a while. You know, maybe make it a little bit more reliable. So, I, I do like that. I like giving dodge to certain key units who you will be putting in the front lines. Uh, I probably wouldn't put dodge in a unit like, well, I don't know. Okay, someone like LR Majin Vegeta or LR Trunks probably don't need dodge. But even LR Trunks, I was still thinking about it. Whatever, it's regardless. Uh, a tangent I was going on. Ignore that, ignore that. So her links are Super Saiyan, Fuse Fighter, Warriors of Universe 6, Battlefield Diva, Power Bestowed by God, and Tournament of Power. Now, the one thing that instantly jumps out right here, obviously she doesn't have shocking speed. She doesn't have to prepare for battle. So her links are not great outside of this team right here. But considering she's only strong based upon her attack and defense getting from physical key spheres, you do, like, key won't be an issue for her, but it could affect other members of the team. Now, one thing that sucks is that Kale does not have the Super Saiyan link. The Berserker Kale card does not have the Super Saiyan link. 
So that really hurts Kafla here in terms of having a linking partner. She doesn't really have that good of a linking partner because she's not going to need the key because she's a nuker anyway. You need to nuke. So, you know, she would be way better off with attack links rather than freaking Battlefield Diva, Warriors of Universe 6, Turn of Power, all unnecessary key links. Like, uh, it's, it's almost like they were... You know, they're kind of like sandwiched in, like, oh, we got to give her Wars Universe 6, we got to give her Battlefield Diva, and it did kind of hurt uh, Kafla in the end. She does also have three categories here. Uh, this, of course, is the Putara category right here, because, of course, Kabito is in it because, you know, he becomes Kabito Kai. Very, very small. I think this is the smallest category in the game as of right now. Uh, she also has right here, this is the Peppy Peppy Gals, the Peachy Peachy Gals, Sexy Girls, uh, Blowjob Gals, as uh, some Google Translates have uh, brought it out to be. And then, of course, she also has the Universal Survival Arc. I I'm still thinking that this Universal Survival Arc team is going to be OP as fuck, bro. There is just so much going on. Now, in terms of the team I decided to run, this is what we're going to be rocking right here. Let's just go ahead and jump in, and we are in the... Physical Omega Shenron event. The reason I like, I've been doing this event a lot lately, and I actually rather like it, is because this is, in my opinion, the most difficult of all of the Dokkan events. Uh, between his little uh, coercion ability, where he can, you know, lock you in place, along with some other things, he can be quite a pain in the ass. Uh, in terms of key right here, we would want this for LR Goku Black, more so than anyone. Uh, once we're actually on the field, I can explain a little bit more about uh, the team I decided to build. Now, one thing that does hurt is I decided to bring AGL Vegito, but it just... Mm, let's let's get in here and I'll, I'll talk a little bit more. So, Tech Vegito is unbelievable and is absolute perfection for this team. The problem is your boy does not have Tech Vegito, so I'm rocking AGL Vegito instead. Uh, I have not farmed the Super Attack yet with the AGL with the uh, SCR Vegitos from the event, but I will be doing that to get on the SA10. This Vegito would fit a lot better on the Boo Saga Arc team than he would for this because he does give a 30% attack up to uh, allies, but it's Super Type allies, so this is not going to affect LR Goku Black. And this is also not going to affect Merge Samasu, which is going to be one of my rotations. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a rotation probably of Kafla and Physical Super Vegito. And then another rotation of Merge Samasu and also LR Goku Black. And then I'll have uh, a... Well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll have a Kafla, a Vegito Blue, and the uh, uh, Base Form Vegito as our floaters. My Merge Samasu is a beast. Uh, SA10. He does have uh, lots of crits and additionals. Uh, obviously, I, I think the friend Kafla, very limited in the potential system, but does have the additional. My Vegito Blue, uh, I do have a dupe in him, but I haven't been able to finish getting his abilities yet. Uh, obviously, my LR Goku Black is almost 100%, so he is a beast. And last thing, my Super Vegito also has uh, several dupes in him, so he likewise is an absolute monster. So, let's test out the girl Kafla. Let's see how powerful she really can be. Uh, you know, we gave her a lot of physical orbs. I want to see how she will tank. I want to see her dodging come into play. Let's see. Can we get a dodge? No. That... Wow! <laughs> this, this is why I say this Omega event is the hardest one in the game, bro. For sure. Uh, so, of course, she will get an additional for sure. Only 248,000. Not the best. Just a normal... There's a dodge right there. Yes. Uh, get used to the dodges with my girl right here because even though it says medium chance, uh, I am noticing that it does appear to trigger quite often. Uh, Kafla's dodging is not as inconsequential as I was thinking it might be. Uh, do I need to heal here? I do not think I do because of LR Goku Black. Um, okay, we're gonna, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. Uh, now we'll, we'll, we'll do this. Uh, LR Goku Black will be able to defend quite a lot. Obviously, I'm not going to get the counter, but it's fine. Uh, we're not going to get over to Kafla. Power Bestowed by God will be useful. Don't super fuck her. Okay, good. Yeah, see, LR Goku Black reduces damage like crazy. Vegito Blue would have taken a lot more damage there than LR Goku Black. And this may finish it. Oh, yes, yes. LR Goku Black is not to be trifled with, y'all. 
he is so good and i'm really gonna enjoy these two freaking categories that use him as soon as i fucking can but right now i can't even really take advantage of lr goku black uh because both of the categories he's on like they're not tr uh transcend ultra rares yet uh so we're gonna want to keep the yeah we're definitely gonna want to keep these uh yellow orbs for kafla uh and then intelligence orbs she will turn to physical so i'll probably get the ones on the left there uh hopefully if this asshole decides to super attack he will do it on kafla and she will dodge this is my Kafla. Let's do some... I want to see like a crit and then an additional, like an additional crit. I just need to get her that bottom right path again. It's just orbs. There we go. Additional super. My girl. I love fucking Kafla. All y'all haters out there hating on my girl. The D Yo. Get this blast, bitch. Fuck you, Sin. Bow, 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 bow. Hold that. Yes, let's go. Let's go. That's a lot of damage, though. I'm about to 100% my girl. I am standing strong behind my girl. I, I've been talking a lot of shit about how I don't like how the community is acting towards her. I will stick by my statement. I am going to 100% my girl. How dare I? Ooh, we got the crit from EGL Vegito. That's nice. Okay. Um, We should be good. We don't need to heal here. Because, again, LR Goku Black's uh, healing will be very, very nice. Woo! Oh, yikes. Um, take a look at that. Uh, no super with LR Goku Black, which is fine because Merge Samasu will finish this off. Yep. Gotta love that Vegito Blue is a floater on this team, bro. That is greatness. At the very least, we did let LR go. Wow, okay. We let Black get hit right there. So he will build up his passive still. Uh, okay, so now this is where things do start to get difficult on this event. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, um, we're going to heal here. Uh, only because I really, really want my rotations in line. Um, hmm. Okay, I decided what I'm going to do. We're going to put Vegito right there. We're going to pop... and Well, let me take a look at the key on the field. Huh. Oh, shit, 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 shit. I, I do kind of want to show off Kafla, so we're just going to rely on crits with Vegito. Uh, no super is fine. We're going to use an Icarus right here. Mm, and that will be good enough. Uh, Kafla will be our... My Kafla, of course, is way better than the friend Kafla. So we'll let her get that. We do have that power bestowed by God. She, at the end, she at least will get another one. No, she won't. Oh, I fucked up. And those were tech orbs, which I could have used for LR Goku Black. Oh, a terrible mistake by me. But my Super Vegito does have 15 crits. So get some crits, boy. Oh, come on. Come on. Vegito, my boy, you gotta work with me. We need some crits, son. Oh, this is perfect. If Omega decides to super Kafla and she dodges this... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Get this fucking barrage. Get back. Also, by the way, this attack is relatively basic. So, do not be surprised. Oh, okay. Additional super again. Wow. Don't be surprised when her TUR has a ridiculously awesome ultimate. Alright, will he... Another additional! Holy shit! See, guys, this is what I'm talking about. I think, like, eight additional will be fine. It will be more than enough. Get the super? No, she didn't. That's okay. Another super? Yo! <laughs> Yo, I love my girl. Yo, when she's 100% and she gets that Dokkan Awakening, it is just going to be beautiful with the dodges. And oh, come on, cocksucker. No. Your, my rotation. Yo, <laughs> no. I hate this a fight. I hate this a fight. This is why I always run this fight because it's the most annoying one. So, Vegito gets 100% defensive boost in the first slot, but he has to attack first. So, his 100% defensive bonus will be worthless right here. Also, his super type allies buff is also worthless. So, Vegito base form AGL right here is completely dead. On this rotation, I'm gonna actually use a Senzu because I don't wanna break up my uh, Murder Samasu and LR Goku Black. And that should be good. Uh, wow, okay, we're getting, I'm getting kinda. Yeah, here's the thing too. Uh, because Kafla only has two key right now on her leader skill, 
it does hold her back quite a bit, like, in terms of this team. Because, again, notice how I I'm actually struggling a little bit for key. It's... It's becoming a little bit more than an issue than I would have liked, to be honest. Uh, we're also not going to get a ton of physical orbs for her next rotation unless I do this. Uh, we do have an Icarus, so I won't have to change anything. But, I mean, I like the team, but I feel as though Tech Vegito is, like, such an important part of this team. Now, I, I, honestly, like, I don't want to run uh, base form Goku Black in that spot. I feel as though he'll largely be worthless. I could run SDR Zamasu, but, I mean, just for the healing, basically. It, it would almost be better than, like, AGL base Vegito because he literally gave me nothing in this turn. Whereas Zamasu, you know, SDR Zamasu at least would have healed. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, he did this again. I don't want to waste another item, so we're just going to do this. Yeah, let's just finish him with Super Vegito. And I guess uh, the new rotation is Super Vegito and Vegito Blue. That's the only problem with running this event if I want to showcase certain characters is because of that coercion ability. Like, I'm just going to be losing some of them off rotation. Give me the crit right here, my boy. Let's just end this. No, but we, we're going to finish him with the counter. Okay. Wow, we took 5,000 there. That's impressive. Uh, you know, so this SCR Omega certainly hits hard that he's able to do that much damage to Super Vegito. Jeez, bro. Um, okay, perfect, 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 perfect. This is actually fantastic right here, uh, because it is LR Goku Black right in the middle. So I'll do this. I'm also actually gonna do this right here. Yes, 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 yes. Let's just get him out of there. Uh, that is the friend Kafla. Hmm. So I'll do this. Can I get a super with LR Goku Black? You know what? I don't think I can. So, I'm going to ignore that, and we'll just, we'll let Kafla get her super. So, pretty bad rotation right here. I had some people tell me that they would have preferred, like, they would run uh, Rose Goku Black over Merge Zamasu. And I certainly could see how he would be a little better on this team. Uh, because, one, that passive of his could help out right now where he is an issue. Also, oh, come on. Ugh. This bastard. <laughs> hmm. I guess I'll use uh, Dende right here so that we can switch. Because I don't want HL Vegito in that first row. Absolutely not. Uh, I don't think Omega would be able to take us out regardless. So let me do this. The problem for me, and the reason I have not done this uh, in terms of putting like HL Vegito on the team over Merge Zamasu, is for myself... Uh, my Merge Zamasu is, like, you know, 75% in the dupe system, right? And, you know, he's got 15 crit. He's got the additionals. My AGL uh, Rose Goku Black is SA1 with zero dupes. So, oh, I got them all on an emulator. I've been getting good at this. I'm, I'm getting, my, my hands are getting pretty quick. Now, I don't know how much damage Vegito will do here, obviously, you know, without his passive being built up. But it should be a good amount. By the way, this is such a good rotation, having Super Vegito and Vegito Blue together. Like, just the counters, the damage is just insanity. The additional... Yo, Super Vegito is showing out. He said, Kafla? Nah, boy. I'm the true Patara Fusion. Just crits, additionals all over. Look at this, man. Look at this, man. Woo. That was pretty sweet right there. How much damage is this going to do? What? He did 143 to Super Vegito. That's crazy. That's insanity, bro. <laughs> this man, Omega, is so powerful. I love this event. This seriously, again, like, if there's a new boss rush with this guy at the end, like, that could actually be pretty difficult. Having to go through all of these events plus this motherfucker, you know, messing up your rotations and stuff, that would be really, really fun. Um, but I guess in terms of this team... I might do a couple more summons on the SCR banner and try and get my Rose Goku Black to SA10 and then maybe try running him over Merge Zamasu. Because Merge Zamasu, of course, is also lowering super type allies by 20%. So, like, it, it just creates a weird mismatch of units on this squad. 
I don't know. Uh, I do think we will see more Patara Fusion in the future in Dragon Ball Super. So I do think the team will progressively get better. As of right now, there's still a lot to be desired, but I do love my baby girl, Kafla. I love this unit. We will end it out with this. Very soon, your boy is going to get this girl to 100%, and I am just mwah, mwah, going to love that shit.